Hey, Paul at Paul Component Engineering here again. Uh, haven't done a video in a while, so this might be a little rough, but we'll see what we can do. This, I want to talk about a system today that I got running uh, late last year that I've been thinking about for at least 10 years. So I've been through a couple different versions, but I think we got it here. These are aluminum chips. This is what's left over when we take blocks of aluminum and turn it into bike parts for you. Now the machines that cut this are spinning so fast that if they didn't have a method to cool the tool down, the aluminum would just melt. So what we use is this is what's called water soluble coolant and it's basically 5% oil. 95% water, but it's the kind of oil that mixes with water. It's specially formulated, it's chlorine free, it's all kinds of good stuff. And we buy, the water obviously comes out of the tap, but the oil we buy comes in 55 gallon drums, and they're not cheap. Also, we don't want the coolant draining out of the chips because coolant will stick to the chips onto the ground. That's what we don't want. Uh, so what we have here, and we're still perfecting the system, the pump float is not quite right because there should be no oil in here. Now on top of here is a thin layer of oil which is used to lubricate the parts, uh, the moving parts in the machinery, and that ends up in the coolant. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that in a minute. But we collect here in a sump, and then when the sump is full, this is where I have to adjust the float. The float will come up, Turn that on. So we are now pumping this coolant we want to recycle. Comes out here, goes across to here, and through here, and then through here, into the saw room. Through the wall. Now these records are sold well during this time of the world. Up into the rafters across here. And then into this first into the first holding tank. Alright, now as you can see, we've got coolant coming out of this first holding tank coming into the first holding tank I should say and like I said there was a lot of oil and you can see the oil on our sight tube here now we have this guy is an oil skimmer so we're still working on how often that should run there's this should not be this much oil but uh, there's some more uh, this will take well I would say 99% of the oil off the top of the water that goes down to a bucket which we later have to pay to get recycled um, but uh, we get to keep the coolant. Now when this gets all the way full, I had to come up with a way so it just didn't keep going and then overflow it into the shop. So there's a little switch in here, a float switch. So this switch comes up, that light goes on, and that means an operator needs to get over here and take care of the situation pronto. So when the light does go on, that means the operator comes over here. We got a full tank. The next step is you open this valve. Coolant is draining. It goes through a 100 micron filter. And I just have to tell you that's really, really small. Uh, nothing, not very much gets through there. Um, so if there's any contaminants from sitting out in the open, it'll all get filtered out here goes into another bucket down here and then up and it'll come out here into its final holding tank and then this tank has some compressed air that goes into it that uh, keeps the, uh, the the coolant aerated so it doesn't uh, let bacteria grow and smell bad and then what happens is we come around here and we open her up and we've got clean, reusable, recyclable coolant coming out here. Almost as good as the virgin stuff. 
really good for the bottom line and really good for the environment. And I'm actually really proud of this system. Uh, it makes me very happy. Uh, nothing gets out into the world. It's all contained in here. It gets reused, recycled, all the good stuff. Uh, like this on YouTube if you like it. And let us know uh, if you have any questions. Thank you.